When connections are critical. When conversations are crucial. Roan equals results. How many of you, when you walk into a room full of strangers, feel comfortable? Oh, there uh, we have about 20 people raise their hands, and you're all looking around going, who are these normal people? Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the 20 of us who raised their hands and you thought they were normal. We are sick human beings. <laughs> I mean, how many people say, let me get up. Leave my, first of all, to leave your room in this hotel is a, an interesting venture and go with people you don't know. This is awesome and it's daunting. We don't know people, we don't know what to say to them, we don't know what to say next year. We were taught to put out our hands and say our names, that we know how to do, but how do we build the conversation and the rapport that builds the relationships upon which all business is based? Susan Roan motivates her audiences and gives them the tools and confidence. How to work a room. What stops us from working a room? Well, there are things I call mother's dire warnings, and the first one sounds like this. Don't talk to strangers. And this is what we were taught. Don't talk to strangers. The only problem is that when you're at Apex, even though you might be new, nobody here is a stranger instead of don't talk to strangers let me give you the remedy redefine a stranger schmooze or lose as the leading expert on networking susan roan is called upon by such media giants as the wall street journal new york times the washington post harper magazine cnn cnbc npr and the bbc to share her insights and practical tips for breaking the ice and building business relationships. What do I say next? Great networkers acknowledge. They do it with a note. Like, I know people who get wedding gifts and don't send thank you notes because they're too busy. Miss Manners once said, really? You're too busy to send a thank you note for a gift? Send it back unopened. We need to acknowledge gifts of time, leads, information, and support, and thank people. People will remember if you say thank you, because so few people take the time for the pleasantries. Remember the magic words you taught your kids, please and thank you? They work in the business place. Savvy networkers acknowledge. The second thing that savvy networkers do is they always stay in touch with people when they need nothing from them. Takes a little more time, but it makes an impact for when you might need help later. And the third and final thing that I will close with, in order to schmooze and win, in order to take and remedy the roadblocks, make sure you know what to say first and next, but to make the network work, what we must always do is follow up. The magic is in the follow up. And what I want you to do after you leave here today I want you to make sure if you've met someone you liked, if you love the program, if you saw someone that you were with sitting at the luncheon, I want you to make sure that you send them a note that says, great meeting you, let's stay in touch. Here's my email. Savvy networking, whether in sales, management, or customer service. The secrets of savvy networking. I'm did a series of four programs in New York last year for Chase and I interviewed their number one uh, sales winning, pinnacle award winning person. I said, you're tell me what your secret is about how you are able to make so many sales of products to your customers. She goes, she says to me on the phone, oh, you misunderstood. I've never sold anything. I said to her, oh, I'm sorry. They gave me your name as having won the pinnacle award for four years. She goes, no, no. I don't sell anything. She says, what I do is I get to know my customers. I don't pick up a phone to tell them about a product that I already know isn't going to fit their needs. But she says, I get to know them as people. I know about their kids. I know about their parents. I know about where they went to school. I know when they're trying to, you know, raise money for the Leukemia Society benefit. And she said this, and I thought this was the crux of conversation and sales. She said, but my real skill and what my secret is, 
is I let my customers get to know me. She said, I didn't tell them the part when my son went to Juvie Hall. She said, you can't, you can't tell them everything. But they knew that I was worried about my mother. My mother had taken a spill. They, knew, they know enough about me that I'm a person to them. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. Not with companies. When you want results, you want Susan Rowan.